What is up my friends? Welcome back to the Wallet Monkey channel where we give you all the credit intel you need to establish relationships with the banks and build your credit profile. So today, let's talk business side. We're going to start to get into that more and more on the channel. Building business credit and uh, leveraging business credit because there's only so much you can do with the personal side, right? So anyways, today let's uh, feature and highlight here the two offerings from PayPal on the business side, the business loan and the working capital. They are different products that have different requirements but are backed by the same bank. They're both backed by Web Bank. So if we just head back on over to WalletMonkey.io and take a look on our master credit lender list, we're looking for Web Bank. So we find that it mostly mostly pulls Experian. Uh, 660 plus can ask for bank statements, uh, backs a lot of cards, yeah. The bank statement thing isn't relevant here because we're talking about two products that uh, I'm going to explain here in just a second. So on the personal side, they tend to ask for that with the different cards that they back. But the business loan is a fixed term loan that they basically, to qualify, you have to fill out a questionnaire, which takes about five to ten minutes, and then that's all the prequal. And then they'll give you an offer. If you accept that offer, then Web Bank is the one who underwrites it and processes it, you know, goes to that traditional process of however long it takes to get the funds, et cetera, et cetera. And they might then need additional information. But understand that all they're really doing is taking a look at your PayPal account. So this loan, as well as the uh, working capital, is based off of the amount that you're using in the PayPal account. So you need to start funneling some of your business expenses, maybe some subscription stuff that people are paying you on a monthly basis because there are some minimums here, especially on the working capital side. I don't know what the minimums are here. They don't clearly state it from what I could find through all of the FAQ and, and everything else here. Yeah, but the checking your eligibility is uh, no credit check. And then web bank, you see it's back there. Okay, so let's pivot now into the working capital. There are some requirements here. Here's the requirements. First off is you have to have been in business for three months. What that means is you have to have been showing profit to the PayPal account as well for at least three months. You must be making at least 15,000 per year. Uh, 15 to 20,000 is what I'm hearing. And so again, for you to just like run maybe a couple couple streams of revenue or just one stream of revenue, depending on how big they are, um, through PayPal would be an easy way to get you access to this tool down the road. So we start to again, get into the ecosystem, build the relationship, etc. So there's no credit check on this. It even tells you right there. Um, the funding is available in minutes. The thing I'd say here is that a lot of people don't really realize that uh, even like sole proprietor stuff that you're doing, uh, maybe you're working through, uh, working for some of these different app companies, uh, rideshare companies, pick up and go companies, food drop off, any of those would actually qualify uh, as well for this if you're somehow funneling some sort of payment structure through the PayPal account. So setting up PayPal business account is actually really easy. You just go through and you set it up as either a sole proprietor under yourself or if you got an EIN and you got an LLC number with an address, then you would just register all of that and set up a business uh, PayPal the same way that you'd set up a personal. And you can have a personal and a business. Let's see if we can come up with the, uh, the pricing here. Okay, so there's no PG as well. Um, there's no collateral. There's no credit check. It's Again, it's going to be based on what they're seeing in your um, PayPal account and your, your usage. Documentation required. Okay, so there's none here whereas there might be on the loan. Let's wrap up here with the payment structure is how it's based on is it's not based on APR, it's based on one fixed fee. So the repayment percentage you select, the percentage of each sale that's automatically deducted to repay your loan. And there are some stipulations here. You need to repay a minimum of five or 10% every 90 days to keep your loan in good standing. So that's a pretty simple structure, actually. I like that a lot. All right, I just wanted to take a second too and talk to the quality of the um, the PayPal products. Is PayPal itself has got a pretty mixed bag history in terms of is it good, is it bad? I, I would say it's decent. You know, I've got a ton of experience from my past. You know, we ran, you used to run launches, online launches, and we ran into all kinds of issues with um, the amount of uh, risk that they were willing to take on. And so there's all these interesting things that were happening back then. This is anywhere from 2013 up to 2016, I would say. And there's lawsuits against PayPal against about this. You can go back and Google search this and find out. There's some huge lawsuits actually. It's because what they started doing was they started doing this 30, 60, 90 day rolling percentage that they would hold back. So it's called a rolling hold back. And then there would be additional, you know, 10 to 30% that they could hold back called something else on the account. They had like two or three of these that they would do. Now, I don't know if they're still doing these. Uh, because I personally don't run a ton of volume through PayPal and I don't know a lot of people who do. I would advise against running, you know, fifty, a hundred thousand dollars through the account. I would say somewhere between thirty to fifty is probably a good good amount to get you qualified for, you know, ten K 
uh, or more loan or a funding option that they've got. But I, I wouldn't be running my whole business through it just because there are all these questionable tactics that they use with holdbacks and you know how long you got to wait until you can get your funds. Sometimes they'll just lock down the account for 180 days, 90 days, and you're completely like you know SOL essentially. Now I would assume that if you got approved for one of their business products that they wouldn't do that, but we can't really make that assumption, can we? So anyways, that's some additional data on maybe just how much you might want to be running through that and how quality of a uh, institution or banking product it is. I would definitely put it at mediocre to maybe even the lower end. But again, where it's mediocre to lower end, it is very friendly towards, you know, brand new businesses or people that don't have a lot of business credit, as you've clearly seen in the rest of the video. So there you go. There's everything you need to know, who's backing it, what you get, what are the terms, what credit bureau they're pulling from, and everything you need to know so that you can get started with either the working capital or the loan product through PayPal business. Go ahead and comment below if you've uh, actually gone through the working capital or the, the loan and give us some data points if you've got them so other people can see it. And obviously we can update you know articles and things on the website and our information as well. We'll pin in the comment. If you're brand new here and you like this sort of thing, take a second, subscribe. A lot of our viewers are still not subscribed. Just takes a second, then click the bell, set it to all, you know the game, and uh, like the video if you want this to uh, get up into algorithms, get more people, more visibility on it, uh, that would help us a lot. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you again in the video really soon.